But for the first time in five games, the Aztecs can talk about a win. Ted Tolner and his team had already lost five games this year, and a quarterback will take you out to Qualcomm Stadium for the highlights. This was a wild game. It was so wild, we're having a little bit of a difficult time <laughs> queuing the up the highlights. There's Monty Montezuma trying to fire up the team. Folks, the Aztecs marched on the opening drive as running back Jonas Lewis bulls his way 11 strong yards. And at this point, the Vegas coaching staff doing a little aerobics on the sidelines. It's senior quarterback Mike Smith that got his first collegiate start. And with the second effort, the Aztecs led 7-0. He was later pulled, though. Second quarter, defense impressive. Look at the hot potato into the hands of Eric Lewis. That's only the Aztecs' third interception this year. He refuses to go down as he rambles to the 10. And that's set up kicker Nate Tanberg, the freshman out of Rancho Bernardo, as the Aztecs up 10-0 at the break. Let's move now, fans say, to the third quarter. Lewis was back at work. He explodes up the pipe for five yards. The Aztecs led 17 to nothing. But it's never easy at state because Vegas rallied. Quarterback John Denton puts up the jump ball. Damon Willis pulls it into your living room. Vegas had tied it up at 17 apiece, as you can see. Late in the fourth, the Aztecs a chance for the win, but Tanberg hooked what would have been the game winner. So both teams go to overtime. The rules in overtime, both teams get the ball. But look at linebacker Andy Osborne. He secures the win for the Aztecs with the interception. Over time, you just got to get down because you're going to get the ball back at the 25. Ted Tolner's club comes back, and this time, Tanberg connects. Bingo from 24 yards out. A collective, whoo, their second win of the year. Courtesy of Tanberg, the Aztecs win it 20 17, the final. You take a win any way you can get it. And there were so many highlights tonight that I really don't want to get into some of the things that always come up on the negative side. But I thought our defense played just outstanding. I mean, the first half, they just kept us in the game, gave us great field position. I thought the pass rush that we had out of a three- and four-man rush was the best that we've had. I can't really express how I feel right now. I'm just, you know, overjoyed about the win. Uh, it's, good to, it's good to get a win, especially after the, you know, how long we've gone without one. Glad I got another chance, and this one I was not going to miss it. There's no way I was going to miss it, and I just put it through. 25 yards, it's not, not too difficult. And that was Nate Tanberg and quarterback Spencer Britton. So the Aztecs have a kick off at their own 49 yard line. Calvin Mims is the lone setback. He's a fullback. And it will be Mims, guess what? On the draw, trying to get outside. No chance, but he still got forward and maybe for a yard out to secondary on second and nine. They'll have motion to the near side. That'll be Charles Tharp, the running back, who comes to the near side. And Skinner. A shovel pass. Calvin Mims going forward. Got hit by Kabir. Midfield and will not gain anything. We'll lose it. Calvin Mims, who got the carry and got not up. Right at midfield. That's no gains made at midfield. Aztecs have had two strong defensive plays on the last two sets. They'll have motion with Connie to the near side, and Josh Skinner will roll on the option to the near side. Shuffle pass up forward again. They go to the this time. They're off the 45-yard line. Lost the ball inside the 40 with a tremendous hit. I thought the Aztecs got it. The referee says no. The linesman's line just says no. But I thought initially San Diego State had it. Now he has an understanding that it is San Diego State football by Hawaii that's just that's not a turnover mark that's Andy Osman with the fumble recovery Rico Curtis with a hit that's a turnover but it's a cause turnover yeah, by we, the way you play we talked about Rico he likes to hit people put your helmet on the football and good things happen if you're on the defense Rico comes in puts a shoulder pad you want your middle linebacker filling from inside out that's a great play I almost looked like Ted a brown right 36 counter option that Hawaii Rainbow Warriors right not bad field position first and 10 at their own 40 yard line gonna run Jonas Lewis off the right tackle not a lot there they may call this about a two-yard gain, and that two and a half gone. Aztecs have second down and nine. Short drop. Brinton throwing near side. Taj Johnson a catch at the 45 and outside juke and across midfield to the Rainbow 49-yard line. Under the blitz, beat the blitz. Got it to Akeem to the catch at the 35. At his own 33 yard line and running straight up the middle and running strong as Jonas Lewis out to the 40 yard line. He'll come first down. Abdul Rahim with his first ever Aztec interception. Here's a sudden change situation now. You give the football to your offense. Action and bomb here. You got second and two at your own 41 yard line. Short drop on play action. Catch to Sean Pierce. First down at the 45. And Clemens will drag him down at the end the running back. And Reyes goes in motion. Spencer Britton. Bobble snap. It's got it off anyway. And pitch outside. The home team, they've won three of their four home games this, this year. Look. Those are the ones they've won. They haven't won a little. Skinner rolling, trying to get away from pressure, and down he goes. 
from behind. Kabir, kaboom. Another sack. He has eight now on the year after three against the UNLV Rebels last Saturday. You know, four man, 42, shotgun skinner, looking under pressure, throwing down the middle. Higgins almost intercepted, incomplete at the 10-yard line. Good coverage downfield. And the Aztec defense came with an all-out blitz. Joe Tuapala, again, he makes plays on the outside. He's also going to make plays up the middle. They sent Jason Moore, I think, on a free safety blitz, and that left Joe all alone. The one thing that Tuipala did really nice, Ted, is the fact that once the ball was away, mm -hmm. he didn't hit the quarterback, not another personal foul. You, you've got the incompletion. Don't give him a penalty. Joe was smart. Went hard to the whistle. The quarterback got rid of the football, and he left him alone. I think I said, did I say Higgins? It wasn't 17, it was 37. Rico Curtis at home always had the interception. Rico's a hometown kid. I don't get anybody don't, mad. Don't I'm mess that one up. enough enemies, thank you. So they have fourth and 20. And Skinner from the shotgun looking to throw. Does, incomplete. Oh. Deep drop and a long time to throw. One protection, throwing long, incomplete at the five. The rainbow 44-yard line, Jonas Lewis on the lay handoff. It's hammered by center. Third and eight at the rainbow 41-yard line. Here is Brinton. Monty Green put a nice block back there protecting, throwing for Taj to go. Sean Pierce, catch, first down, 27-yard line. At the Rainbow, 28-yard line, going left to right and rolled and looking good. Offensive line is beaten to the point of attack in eight. At the Rainbow, 27, play action. Brinton throwing, Sean Pierce, catch again. It's at 20 down to about the 18 or 19-yard line. Got him down there, third and one at the 19. They got to have it. They get it, Jonas Lewis. Boom! over Klineski down to the 15-yard line. Fly those tight ends. Spencer Britton on the play action, rolling, stopping, looking for his time. Throws for Taj, over. Second and 10 for the 15-yard line. Draw play, Jonas, no. This solid like he did the first one because it's going to go through the uprights. If you want a Monday morning quarterback or Monday morning coach, you might wonder why if you're going to get the field goal, you don't run it into the middle of the field knowing that the wind is blowing to the right. Ask